Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to June favourite. Sorry this one's a bit late, but as you know, I took a couple of weeks off of YouTube for various holidays and just needed a bit of a break from everything. So this is kind of, it's a June favourite, but it is sort of spilling into this month as well because these are kind of summer favourites and I'm really excited to show you what I have picked out. If you're new here, my name is Kath. I post videos every Sunday at 7am London time and it's all about hair, beauty, skin care, weight loss, aging, grey hair, you name it, we're talking about it. So if that's the kind of content that you like, do subscribe, give this a thumbs up and uh, let's get into the video. Let's do hair first. So I have had a little trim, a bit of a chop and when I've had my hair cut, it just looks so much better, doesn't it? I mean, your hair, it just, I love my hair longer, but it gets to like the three and a half to four months and it just really needs a trim. My ends were knackered. And once I've had the haircut and I've washed it and styled it myself, I no more appreciate this than then. And this is the way texturizing hairspray. This stuff is magical. So my hair is freshly washed just now. I have had an elasticizer treatment on in the gym. It is now Sunday and I've washed that out, washed my hair. And because my hair was so silky after I'd done all those things, first world problem I know, when you blow dry it, it kind of goes a bit too silky and shiny. I like to have a little bit of grit to my hair and this, this is what that gives you. This is like a volume spray or a volume powder without that horrible residue. This smells beautiful. Whey products always smell gorgeous. And this is my third or fourth tube of this. They, I do use a texturizing spray from day to day. This is something a bit special because it is like 24 pounds for this size. However, it cannot be beaten. This is honestly the best texturizing hairspray I have ever tried. It is literally a hairspray and texturizing spray in one. I literally just lift up my hair, spray it under here, give it a little zhuzh, sometimes at the top as well, give it a little zhuzh and you're left with sort of messy, bedheady type hair that has a bit of texture to it. So I will link this below. Thank me later if you have short hair, medium hair, long hair, this is amazing. This product, you are gonna think I'm crazy, but let me give you some backstory. So these are the Navy Professional Cuticle Nippers. These are the creme de la creme of cuticle nippers. Now, you may remember years ago, I did a video on how I do my nails. I will link it below for you. And I, mentioned my cuticle nippers and I said they're the best things ever. I bought them from America. I have ever since tried to find those exact cuticle nippers and I could not. I do my own manicures at home. Um, I get my feet done uh, professionally, but my hands I do myself. And I follow a professional manicurist, like the celebrities on Instagram. And she keeps talking about these tools and she keeps using them and they looked amazing. One day after a couple of glasses of wine and I'd just been paid, I thought, why not? I'm going to try them. I'm sorry, but they are the best things ever. They are so sharp. They are so precise. <sighs> They're 60 pounds. 60 pounds for flipping cuticle nippers but in my defense the ones that I've got I still got them I will never get rid of them they're very blunt but I will not get rid of them because the uh, the attachment is just too strong uh I have had those since 2011 or 12 so long 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 time if these last me halfway near as much as long as those lasted me I'll be happy these should last me a lot longer, um, but they're super good. I mean, just when you just nip that little bit of skin and it just comes away and there's nothing there. I would show you a close-up of my nails right now, but um, unfortunately my 
skin around my cuticles was damaged by a nail polish remover and it's very my skin is very very dry so don't look too closely but these are amazing i will continue to use them i will link them below for you um if you are as insane as i am but just trust me when i tell you they are amazing and the way i look at it is if i had a professional manicure every month that would be like 20 30 pounds a month so within two months i've got the money back and i get to actually do my own nails for years and years and years not that i need to justify it but in my own head i'm like there's a lot of money for cuticle nippers but they are worth it next up we have the elf halo glow liquid filter this was recommended to me by a lady at work who when i said i love the charlotte tilbury uh, hollywood filter she was like this is the next best thing this is the drugstore dupe i will insert some a cutaway of me applying it now i have got the shade medium four i probably could go lighter because this is quite dark as you will see but it does give you quite a lot of coverage it's not a foundation but it says customize your glow uh, wear under or over makeup with foundation or as a highlighter apply to desired areas and blend now as you can see i applied it to my entire face this was this morning i have this on now i have my full makeup on over top it's gorgeous the glow is so so good i have oily skin and i don't think it makes me look particularly oily i've applied my makeup now three hours ago and um this is a very 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 lovely glow i do have my hourglass highlight here but i think you can agree the glow on the actual skin all over is just great i love this and it was like 12 pounds or something and the charlotte tilbury one is 30 something so thanks elf great little dupe there Next up, we have the lipstick I am wearing now. This is an old favourite. I've had this for two or three years. I'm pretty sure you can still get it, but I only pull it out in the summertime. This is Tang Thang by um, Fenty, the Rihanna brand. And it looks really bright there, not so bright here, but look, it's a like a lip butter. It's really, really nice. I've had this, like I say, two or three years. I only use it in summer, so I've still got quite a lot left. It's one of those colors that it's just easy. It goes with everything. I've got the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing is up next, but it's kind of like a pinky color, but it still kind of works. So I've got um, like a terracotta bl uh, blusher on. So yeah. Fenty Beauty, Tang Thang, let me make sure that word's right. Yes, Tang Thang is gorgeous. It doesn't last very long. If you're eating and drinking, you will need to reapply because it is a butter. However, I think just for the shade and everything itself, it makes me look quite tanned. I just love the summer vibe that it gives. And I don't mind reapplying lipstick, like it's not a big deal to me. But if you are looking for like something with super longevity, if you want to wear it for a, an occasion, just know that you will need to reapply it. If you want something with a bit more staying power, try Morange by MAC. Similar colour, a lot brighter, but similar tone. So that's great. But this one for me is an absolute winner. Prepare to be shocked and go, oh no, I had no idea this was coming up. This is the Pat McGrath Sublime palette, my most recent purchase from Pat McGrath Labs. This is just gorgeous. I mean, like every time I get a Pat palette, I kind of want to hate it because um, they're really expensive. But uh, no, it's fabulous. So if you follow me on Instagram, I explained that for work, like these four are just phenomenal uh these also add those on top like little toppers but even still the glamour four shades i would totally wear these every day to work in fact i think my workplace almost expects me to wear this kind of stuff to work the green i haven't tried properly yet i really 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 want to because it is like a stunning stunning green shade 
um, with a great shimmer. I mean, look at, first of all, can I just, can you just appreciate how that is like the coverage is amazing. And it's like a duochrome, it's like purple and green. Um, but I need to, I haven't actually worked out how I'm gonna use that in like a look yet, but it's coming, don't you worry. And I really, really love this palette. It's very everyday to me, like it's very neutral. It may not look neutral to you guys, but as I said, look at this. This is what I'm wearing today and I'm applying it up here for you so you can see. These colors apply so, so well. The only thing I will say is with the black, obviously Pat's um, eyeshadows are incredibly pigmented, go in with a really, really, really light hand to get the kind of look that I've got here. I barely touched this with my brush, just FYI. But I used, all over the lid, um, I used uh, this one as like a transition shade. Even though it's got a shimmer to it, it was a really nice transition shade. And then I used the black in the outer corner and sort of blended it sort of midway. And then I used this beautiful, beautiful disco shade all over the lid. And I just kind of blended them together. I applied my um, Kat Von D eyeliner, mascara, and we're good to go. This palette is sublime. The name suits it well. I loved it. And guys, I'm so glad that loads of you jumped on the summer sale. I did share the code. I told you guys the sales were worth waiting for. Loads of you got the bronzer. Thank you to those few people that messaged me about the £24 bronzer. I got two. I jumped straight on it. I've now got enough bronzer to last me at least a year, I want to say, um, which is great. But I also picked this up and um, I'm so glad that I did. It's a beauty. I am going to be quite bold and say I think I've got all the eyeshadow palettes I can handle right now unless you bring something else out that's just amazing. But, oh, we love a pat palette. And I'm so glad that I've managed to convert some of you guys. Um, you love her, so my work here is done. Clothes. I'm not wearing the item today that I'm going to talk to you about, but I have a clip that I will put in of me wearing it. But this is from Amazon, and it is the Amazon Skims Dupe t-shirt now the reason, reason i'm not wearing it today is because i have an, a gig at the end of this week and i need to save it for that but um this t-shirt when i say it's like nice and tight it's got the whole you know kim kardashian vibe going on i pick up the size small it's fantastic it is a skims dupe you would not know the compression on this you can see i'm really pulling this is great like now that i've lost my weight and some um i had to change my target again recently because i've lost a little bit more and i'm really happy with where i am i'm like a size 10 ish and the fact that i work out a lot now i have never been in a situation in my life where i've not had love handles i've not had muffin top like i am perfectly what's that word they use snatched so um for me now i'm like give me all the tight clothes so i love these t-shirts and i love them with jeans i love them with skirts um mainly wear them with skinny jeans like the gig i'm going to at the weekend i'm going to wear them with skin tight black skinny jeans the black skins t-shirts some jewelry rock it out and my hair kind of just like this just down and messy like i'm here for that look so i love those skims t-shirts they're like 18 pounds i've now got two of them they come in a whole array of colors but you know me your girl only wears black but they do like the um the skims uh, tan the beige the white the really good and the white from what i've seen people on tiktok the white is not see-through at all um i would say with those you have to wear a t-shirt bra because if you had a bra with any lacing on it you would see you, you would see the texture through it because it is really really tight i use just a yeah a t-shirt bra with no seams on it and uh chef's kiss gives you a really 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 great silhouette Next up are my favourite jeans. These are from Mango and they're the Claudia jeans. At the moment, they're on sale. I picked up the pair that I'm showing you now. I picked up yesterday in Westfield because I went there to pick up a new pair of the Claudia jeans because the blue pair that I've got in a size 12, they're quite not baggy, but I've got a bit of rim in them. I wanted something a little bit tighter. So the ones that I'm wearing in this picture are the Claudia's, but they are the 
black ones. I will insert footage of my blue ones as well. The thing I love about these jeans is they sit perfectly lengthwise for me for summer. So I can wear them with my Birkenstocks, I can wear them with sandals, they're not too long. Even in the winter, I'd be able to wear them with boots. They're a really, really flattering fit. Um, they're kind of like the 90s sort of straight leg vibe jeans and I love that look. And um, for, for summertime, they're perfect for sort of a t-shirt throw over the top or a shirt or something. They're just really, really nice jeans and I had to share with you at the moment. They were £45 full price. The pair that I'm wearing today in that video, the black pair, I got for 20 quid. So get into Mango, get onto Mango. Um, like I say, they're very true to size. They haven't got much give in them. They're not very stretchy. So if you are a size 12, get the size 12. If you're a size 10, get the size 10. Be aware you might have to do the jeans yoga, like when you do the, you know, the sumo squats and everything just to kind of loosen them up a little bit. But they're not very stretchy. So they're proper jeans, which I actually really, really like. And uh, that is all. And the last thing I have to talk about is a podcast that I've binged. So um, if you can cast your mind back, I don't know, 15 years or so, there was an Australian comedy programme called Summer Heights High. If you have never watched it, do yourself a favour and look it up. It's so funny. Very unpolitically correct. Just going to put that out there, but it's very, very funny if you have a sense of humour like mine. And the guy that wrote it is a guy called Chris Lilly, and he basically writes the programme and he plays all the characters in the programme. And it was like a mockumentary uh, about a high school. And there was a girl in it called Jamae King, and she was a private school girl that for one semester or one term had to go to this state school and um, kind of just learn how the other half live and she was quite the character anyway Chris Lilly has done a podcast called Jamazing and it's basically Jamay after Summer Heights High she's trying to become an influencer her podcast is so funny I think there's four seasons of it. I binged all four within about a week and a half. Each episode is like 20 minutes long and there is a story to it. So like in the first series, um, she wants to move out of home and move in with her friend Amber and it's like they're going to become influencers and stuff. And it's basically how she makes that happen throughout the episodes. And every week there's something, every episode there's like a drama or something happens to her and... Um, when I say it's funny, I mean I have literally been in the gym or walking to work or what have you, laughing out loud at this program. It's genius. So um, it, if you love a podcast like me, honestly, get on to Jamazing. It's really, really funny. If you haven't seen Summer Heights High, you'll probably still find it funny, but you won't really get her. You have to kind of imagine her how she looks, how she walks, how she talks, how she talks to her parents, because in in Summer Heights High, they were in it. She had a, a programme after Summer Heights High called Jamae Private School Girl, which is just about her. Um, and yeah, that's on Prime, actually. Jamae Private School Girl is a really good one to watch. You don't really need to see Summer Heights High, but if you, yeah, just go down the Jamae rabbit hole, you will thank me for it. Guys, that is it for this month. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. I really hope that you um, might want to try some of these products. If you already have, let me know what you think. And all links will be below for you. Um, and I, out of everything, I would say give the Skims t-shirt a go, the dupe. It's really, 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 really good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week for another video. Take care.